out, check it out, you guys. Look at this. I feel like Elvis. This is crazy, man. Give you guys yourselves a hand. Local people, we have sold out the Hawaiian Theater. Yeah. They said it couldn't be done, ladies and gentlemen. They said it couldn't be done. I'm going to put this right here because I'm going to work out tonight, boy. I'm excited. Yeah. How's everybody up there? Everybody doing good? Everybody doing good? This is crazy, guys. This is kind of nuts for me. Because I grew up like five miles from here. You know, on the beautiful foothills of Kalihi Valley. Yeah, all looking Kohil Park Terrace. So this is crazy. And if you guys grew up about the same time I grew up when I was 36, this used to be the hang, eh? Yeah, Hotel Street, Hotel Street, Hotel Street! Yeah, I saw Kung Fu movies in here. Set up like this because all the rats was running. But you know, Hawaii theater and I thought I'd do something special. So, you know, went to Neiman Marcus. <laughs> Two things happen when you're in Neiman Marcus for local men. You either get really insecure. Well, it's security on me, security on me. Or, or your spine straighten up. Because everybody in Neiman Marcus, man, they get confidence because they get cash. So you gotta absorb that, you know, come on, man. I walked in, I was like, yeah, from prehistoric, man, I went straight up. I got some cash in my pocket. Then I go up to the men's section of Neiman Marcus, ladies and gentlemen, they give you a personal shopper. This guy will tell you the truth about how you look. Tells me you cannot shop on this side of the store. This side is for skinny people. This is for 30, 34. You, Filipino, what? 34, 27? And automatically, you know, you're thinking, wow, wow, bro. He goes, no, no, listen, listen. I'm here to make you look good. So I go, what about this shirt? No, 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 no. What is happening in this area? What is happening? It's already hard for me coming in and now you're insulting me about my old pool, my stomach. You need to be sequenced, all same color. See, on TV, you're gonna look skinny. All right, brother, all right. So, they, so I go in a dressing room with my kids, right? And if you ever go in the Neiman Marcus dressing room, bigger than your living room. Some of us bigger than our house. They serve you cookies, juice. My kid's getting potluck inside of stuff, you know what I mean? It's amazing. <laughs> right? And then, you know, you put on the clothes and you're feeling like a million dollars and then, you know, they walk in, Mr. Tobo, are you ready? Yeah. And I felt like the swan. <laughs> the guy was like, oh my God. Look what we did to Mock Boy. Look what we did to Mock Boy. So I got a Dukuma. <laughs> I'm feeling good, man. This is good stuff. Anybody watch the Olympics? Okay, some of you. The other half was like, eh. Because eh. there's some weird stuff at the Olympics. Like, I, don't, I cannot understand the, the shot put. Where they take one cannonball, one small bowling ball, and they throw them. Who came up with this? Like Greeks 2,000 years ago, and Hercules. And they did speak pigeon, okay? Hercules. Yeah, what's up, Atlas? What, tired carrying the world on your back or something? What? 
Bro, I challenge you, who can throw the ball the farthest? <laughs> Follow along. Who can throw the cannonball the farthest? Bro, I'm Hercules. Yeah, but you gotta throw the ball from right here. Right here, not, not from right here, boo. And you gotta throw them inside this circle. Hey, there's nothing, Atlas. Wait, bro, wait. You gotta spin first before you throw the ball. Oh, try for make me dizzy, eh? Try for make me dizzy. And after, and then horse boy, horse boy, horse man, horse man, wherever the ball land, mark him with your hoofs. What the hell? Who came up with that kind of stuff? And you know, honestly, it's not ethnically diverse. We all know who's gonna win. The Russians, the Chinese, and the Americans. Come on, in this, in this time where everything is equal, why don't we get like a uh, Samoan gymnast team? Come on. I would watch if I want Samoan gymnast team. Come on. Sunga, Sunga, get a jump that belly spin. Belly spin, we're gonna be the first for a bit of Samoan in our Olympics. Go tap the belly spin. Go tap, make your toes up in the Go tap, go tap, make your toes up in the air. Like, okay, lift up your leg. Put your level like a sit Sit be healthy. Sit that would be beautiful. I would watch the Olympics to see that. <laughs> And now, supposedly, I don't know about you, if you guys seen this in the news, supposedly there's an abundance of dog meat being sold on Oahu. 3,000 missing dogs gone last year. When was the last time you went to Maile and saw patele, aku, dog meat? But you know what's insulting, right? If you guys saw the news, <laughs> never have one Filipino on the newscast. <laughs> and other different ethnic race holding one black dog. And I'm going, oh, look at that. See, this is where you take advantage of the whole being a victim. Have one of my Filipino uncles just <laughs> snap on TV for like racial discrimination. Go on TV. Every since you guys, you do that news report about the missing dogs. Oh, my neighbors now they lock the dog on the chain. You know, before I come home, the dogs are all over the place. Now inside the kennel, I go to the pet store. Pet, pet, pet store. I go. I go to the fat store and buy a fluffy, fluffy for my nephew. Puppy. <laughs> I buy a fluffy for my nephew. The lady look at me, Hawk, what you buying the fluffy for? What you gonna do with that? And then I go to work, lunch time. I have my Tupperware. I open my Tupperware, but what is that? Dog, it's a dog you're eating! That's fish! <laughs> you know what I like doing? You know, you know what, honestly, you know why I love doing comedy? The first three bits was like stuff that I just made up a couple weeks ago, and you guys never even know. Yeah! You see, because if I bombed and a joke sucked, the last three jokes, you guys would have gone, oh, that's okay. He's a comic. He can recover. <laughs> see, I can do that. I'm the, my job allows me to do that. Right? I can make a mistake and it'll be okay. Doctors cannot do that. <laughs> right? Doctors cannot do that. You can imagine you wake up from surgery, your testicles there by your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what happened? What happened? I don't know. I was working on something new. I was like, <laughs> hey, 
Yeah, so I love my job. This is the best job in the world. It allows me to just say, whoo, just talk. I'll tell you, I've been very grateful and very fortunate to have done some comedy on the mainland. Yeah. Local brother from Kalihi made the big move to Waianae, doing comedy in like Alaska, the Midwest, Guam. Anybody been to Alaska? Yeah, beautiful place, yeah? During the spring, it's like all day, two hour nights. You're not gonna find about two addicts in Alaska, boy. <laughs> only two hours, only two hours, only two hours. thing because I'm a tourist I like go you know I want to know what Alaska is all about I did the the Kenai for hordes I cannot say it it's spelled F-J-O-R-D-S this is where they get the salmon and the glaciers right hundred twenty five dollars to go see wildlife well they don't tell you you might not see wildlife you know, hundred. If I knew, oh, that would be hard for me to speak. Cause you know, local brothers, you gotta really convince us. Twenty-two dollars was hard, eh? Hundred twenty-five dollars, man. I'm like, I'm on like two hours into the whole tour. I'm like, where's all the animals on the brochure? Where's the killer whales? Where's the seals? Where, where, where? I'm pissed now, I'm mad. Cause I could have seen all that at Sea Life Park, right? Hundred, twenty, okay, okay, they had eagles. And I honestly, I believe was propped, was like just in case you don't see wildlife. Cause they all look the same. All just on the... Uh, fly, do something, fly! But I went, I spent the money because I want to experience. That's what we do, we like experience. Now I understand why tourists come to Hawaii, spend all of the, you know, they, 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 they save up all of their life savings to come to Hawaii to watch water, shoot out the rocks. Go by the blowhole, honey, go by the blowhole. That's water shooting out the rocks, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this Water shooting out the rocks. But they want to experience the whole thing. And I'm like, okay, cool. All right. Maybe I only saw one. one, one see all the... Ah! <laughs> but amazing how people, like, they, they jump on that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start my new business. I'm going to show tourists from the mainland what Hawaii is really about. I'm gonna make my own wildlife tour. We're gonna take the boat off of Honakai Hale. And only gonna cost like 20 bucks, maybe 22. 25, you know, for the good seats over here. You know, take them off Honakai Hale, go by Makaha. Ladies and gentlemen, look at your cameras. Look at that beautiful Hawaiian man. Really, do you see 100% Hawaiians walking around at the beach? Come on, take your cameras out. Take your cameras out. Okay, now we're going to Maile. Oh, 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 is that somebody stealing a car? Get your cameras out. Look at that. His bow. Look at the way he's using that screwdriver. Unbelievable, boy. And now we go to Nanakuli, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggest wildlife. Is that, is that a transvestite? Look at the son of the Walking in his six-inch family. I think it's stereotype, okay? No matter what anybody say, we get stereotyped. I felt like I was stereotyped from the beginning, <laughs> right? Supposedly, I grew up in the three versus places, versus. <laughs> it's for the people on the mainland, new word, new word, versus. <laughs> Kalihi, Waianae, 
And now I live in beautiful, hot, ever beach. And I felt like I was stereotyped all my life. I felt like every time somebody asked me where I'm from, I got to defend myself. Where you from? Why not? Why? Where you from? Why? 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 Hey, they don't do that to Lanai, my partner. They go, Lanai, where you from? Oh, YPO. Oh, what? Your kids play soccer. stereotyping people you know who got the worst one the guy last year at the Chicago Cubs game you remember this one guy that caught the ball and blew it for Chicago everybody was mad at this guy he was like the biggest fan but we all went typecast him you know why because he's the guy we all can beat up he's the guy in school that had the glasses pinned in his pocket hi hey, hi how you doing hi and he think he can blow it for Chicago right the ball came and everybody's like, oh, no, no. everybody wanted to beat him up because the ball came his way. Shoot, he's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy we can beat up. He's the guy when you're driving in your car, cut in front of you, you look at him, hey, drive good. <laughs> Why, you don't know how to drive. <laughs> but if it was somebody big like this Samoan guy right here, <laughs> we stick your finger under the dashboard, right? I can lick him, man. I can kick him. I can lick him. I know, honey. I know. Okay, hey, hey, today. <laughs> we love stereotyping people, right? Shoot. If some big guy like Navy Tuyasa Sopo or a Rock cut the ball at the Chicago Cubs game, nobody would have said nothing. Can you imagine if some white guy cut the ball? Look, everybody. <laughs> For. Hey, why are you crying? <laughs> why? why? Why are you crying? You like that pop? You like that pop? Stop! 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 To me, I kiss the pop! Stop! Stop! It's come down right now! Regardless of what anybody say, right? We type cash, yeah. Oh, we're the melting pot of the Pacific. Shoot, we're the worst. That's why we can tell jokes, and that's why it's okay. Because we think it, you know, and, and that's why I love doing my job. I can say I'm a, a mirror of society. So people get mad. People go, how do you, wait, 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 Augie, let me, how do you do comedy on the Midwest? Well, like I speak on different language or something? You ever hear people in the Midwest talk? Can't even understand them. <laughs> like, bro, where's the Starbucks? Where's the Starbucks? Oh, I suppose you gotta go back there, turn that way, then go that way, then turn. <laughs> Much, I slow down a little bit so I can understand what you're saying. And I hate that. Because I'm a guy that loves to dream and dream big. We can. We can make it to the next level, local people. No, wipe that off. Take it out of your mind, man. People like laughing all over the place. I went to Guam, similar to Hawaii. Yeah, Guam, hot, but. Oh, man, worse, worse. <laughs> A lot hotter than Y and I, man. And you know when it's hot, because everybody looks the same when it's hot. You know, notice that? They're not mad, they're hot. And why not? They're not mad, they're hot. Because they all look like this. is very religious yeah man plenty Catholics anybody Catholic yeah I used to be Catholic no when I was growing up because my, my, my grandma's Portuguese and you know Portuguese people Ooh, holy ghost but amazing you go Guam and like everywhere you pass like on graveyard they're over there. church and I remember my grandma didn't doing that, you know, when I was growing up. 
my grandmother was religious man they had like you know the the, the, the rug with Jesus they had the hologram picture of Jesus Jesus alive Jesus dead Jesus alive Jesus dead had Jesus in every room I thought Jesus was my uncle I promised to God I was like grandma when our uncle Jesus coming over <laughs> and this is the same stage that had the mayor debate, right? Yeah, man, had Mufi, Bainham, and the Pope. You guys seen that? <laughs> That's an old guy right there, boy. Father, I'm gonna go. Yes. I'm gonna go. Just mad. I'm talking about though, have any like I, I love the Pope. I go by admire the Pope, but have you seen the Pope lately? Lately, brought a tie. He like give up already. You see him? But oh, God looking down, going, "Hey, brother, hurry up! You catching me up? You catching me up?" They used to have the bulletproof car. No, no more. He probably tell him, hurry up, somebody shoot me already. Come on. So I can be with my father in heaven. Shoot me already. <laughs> yeah, doing comedy on the mainland was a trip. Midwest, man. 300 people, all rednecks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it was. Walk on stage, you're like, damn, that's a funny looking Mexican Hawaiian boy. <laughs> but it's a trip, and I enjoy that kind of stuff because I believe Mokes, Hawaiian men, right, local brothers, are like a gene away of being rednecks. We start allowing trailer parks in Wainai, Wamanalo. Guarantee gonna get a tornado every month. Guarantee. So we a lot, we similar, very similar. Yeah, and they tell you can't how you gonna relate. I'll get tell you something. You hang around people long enough, you become just like them. Yeah, by the time I left Tennessee, I had my wow. I had my twang going on. Yeah, by the time I get to Kentucky, shoot, I was talking just like them. <laughs> by the time I got into Kentucky, went to the Kentucky Fried Chicken, because I wanted to see what's real Kentucky Fried Chicken. Went to the Kentucky Fried Chicken, try out my new twang, go to the drive-thru, yeah. Can I get a number two with some slaw, and some mashed potatoes, and a Diet Pepsi? The guy understood everything I said. I was fired up, man. Now, let me repeat that order again. There's a Diet Coke, uh, there's a Diet Pepsi with a number two, with a slaws. See, what is that, reverb or something? <laughs> Sir, can you repeat my order again? Yes, sir, there's a number two, with a slaws, and a Please drive true. So now I drive true, right? I'm looking at the brother. And I used to think that where I used to live, people had a problem with missing teeth. <laughs> Holy smoke, is there a law in Kentucky where you have to be missing teeth? I'm like, damn, must be hard for the tooth fairy in Kentucky. Cause you know the tooth fairy's got to make quota, right? <laughs> it's like, Kentucky tooth fairy, yes, 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 king of all tooth fairy. <laughs> you gotta give me 600 teeth. That's too much teeth, tooth fairy king. Gotta call the Japanese tooth fairy. Cause you know those Japanese, they got so much teeth, the thing over there. For your saga son! <laughs> Talking about messed up teeth. Is anybody watching the Extreme Makeover show? 
Holy smoke, do these people know that they messed up? <laughs> Why are you gonna go on with your I see one episode where the lady's teeth, I promise, was like protruding out of her lips. You guys see this? <laughs> How the hell? Wait a do oh, wait, okay. Do ugly people know they're ugly, honestly? <laughs> ugly people wake up, look in the mirror and go. <laughs> And I was thinking, I was thinking, at what point in your life, ladies and gentlemen, will you realize, hey, something going wrong with my teeth, I better do something about it. No, you're gonna let yourself go for 36 years and wait till you go on a show called Extreme Makeover in front of 30 million people go, ass! That's make ass! And the part was it? They showed her brushing her teeth. <laughs> I'm yelling at the TV. It's too late. Too late. You should have done that when you were six. <laughs> and we love the kind of shows. The women, you guys love that kind of shows. You guys like doing alterations on your body. All the women on Extreme Makeover, they all like, oh, can I can I have bigger stuff? What is up with that? I want implants. Give me implants, please. I need implants. Because if I had implants, I would feel good about myself and everything would be great because I can wear the clothes that I like. Are we that insecure, ladies and gentlemen? See, man, when we get TV shows like that, huh? Why, why can't we love ourselves? You know what's sad? Is that men do the same thing. We like stuff big too, if you know what I'm talking about. We do this to our wives, what you wish was bigger, eh? What, too small, too small? Right? We do that. What, your last boyfriend was bigger than mine? Are we that insecure? You know, I never, I'm 36 years old, ladies and gentlemen. Not one time did I look in the mirror Look at my, my package. <laughs> and wait, shoot. Maybe I need an implant. <laughs> In fact, <laughs> maybe on 63, it will look real good. Look at that. <laughs> Holy smoke. Wow, look at See, so you can walk up to people. Hey, how are you? Shake my hand. Long time to we'll see. <laughs> it's a mic stand. Sh Come on, damn, no worry. <laughs> you get blind, you can use it for walking cane. You know? <laughs> Instead of looking at Walmart, putting stickers on people when they come into the store, you can work as on JP or Monitor. Okay, wait till. <laughs> wait till you see them. Okay. Sad, sad, we're so, so insecure, we worry about what we look like, how we talk, sad. I'm savoring the moment, ladies and gentlemen. I went outside and like the director was like, no, no, go outside, no, go. We can, you're a star now, you gotta come out. I'm outside looking at the lights, wow! Oh, it felt like Ricky Martin. Even when you guys went, yeah, when I came out, because I saw the, anybody went to the Ricky Martin concert. Oh, man, I never like go, but I got that seats, you know, over there. And Ricky Martin came out, oh my God, I was like, ah! 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 He sweat, like, he sweat. Thank you, man. You the man, bro. You the man. You came. You the man. All right. 
That's all we need, man. You know, we need more local people. Just, just having big dreams, man. I went today. I was at the. I did the farewell for all the military servicemen from Hawaii that's leaving to go to Iraq. Yeah. And you know, I was doing the gig, and me and Kerry Tagawa from Hawaii, he was there with me. And I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at these guys, and I'm thinking, oh, it's my brothers over there. They all going. They're gonna fight for me. And I'm looking at the kids, and I'm like, wow. You know, and I and also, honestly, as I was driving it, it took away from my nervousness from tonight. You know, because I, you know, I'm driving, I'm going, man, I gotta be more grateful for what we have. Every day we wake up to some stupid stuff. Every day. We don't know what, what, code red, code yellow, code green, what, what? <laughs> America is divided because they don't know who for pick for president. Right? You remember when 9-11 happened? Amazing. I mean, 9-11 happened, plane went into the building, 3,000 people lost their lives. And we all went, oh. And then we had one greater appreciation for our lives. It was like, damn. Yes. And now everybody's so divided. Amazing. Amazing. I trip out on that. Everybody's mad because the president never respond fast. See, that's where I look back and I go, man, maybe we need a local guy in the presidency. <laughs> Because local men, we get passion. Yeah, we believe in something, we're going to respond. Sometimes we don't know why we're responding. If it feels good for that time, we're going, bro. Remember when 9-11 happened? Shoot, man, I trip out on that kind of stuff. Because I tell you what, if I want, I'm a local president, man, things would have happened, right? After the first plane went into the building, brother would have respond. Wait, 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 what happened? What, what? Yeah, when 9-11 happened, hey guys in white and I like, ah, let go. Ah, let go, send me, let go right now, let go. Send me Vietnam right now, let go. I got let go now. Wait, bro, you gotta pass probation. And you know what? Local people, we wasn't scared. Shoot, somebody hijacked Hawaiian and Aloha Airlines. Give me a break. You know we're gonna get on Tira in a plane, you know? This is a $65, bro. I gotta go marry my aunt. You know what? Sit down. Sit down. Take that towel, shock them. You know where, bro. Sit down. Oh, people president. We wasn't worried about anthrax. We had that anthrax scale. Local people wasn't worried about anthrax. Shoot. You know why? Because local people, we don't open up the envelope. We know what get in the envelope. No more anthrax. Get bills in the envelope. Get bills. I don't know nothing about Ajax. Don't tell me about Ajax. I don't know nothing about Ajax. <laughs> I trip. Amazing man. <laughs> you think I did, you know what? They got all mad, right? 25 million for go look for Osama. 25 million for go look for Saddam. Shoot, if I was president, I know plenty of guys from YNI, Manakuli, they would do the job for hundred dollars. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, they're gonna be on ice, but I tell you what, they're gonna hunt them away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you guys know, guys who tweak, they do anything. 
for money. Shoot. Anything. Hey, guys, I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you. I'll get you. You guys might have bumped into some of them on the way here. I'll get you, I'll get you. I'll get you, I cut your grass, I cut your grass. Five dollars, five dollars, I cut your grass. Do your yard, five dollars, I do your yard, five dollars. But on the more even rake, he's using one fork, he crack it, crack it. I'll get tea, five dollars, I'll get tea, bro. Five dollars, I'll get tea. <laughs> These clothes feel good, Fatia. Yeah? These clothes feel good. It's my baseball coach and my basketball coach right there. That's a housing basketball coach and baseball coach. Shoot, I remember when Kali Valley first played baseball. You know, all the kids, they get nice uniform. You know, from Pahoa, Mililani. All get nice kind of uniform. Kids from Kali Valley get cut shots. <laughs> and they get all kind of base coaches, the other teams. They're like first base coach, third base coach. <laughs> Doing signals. Us, one coach, <laughs> Samoan coach, stay at the bait, stay at the plate. Oh, coach, what's the signal? Shall I hit the ball? Don't be stupid, like hit the ball. Next signal, next signal, hit the ball. That's not allowed. Hit the ball, Augie. Getting back to the terrorists. <laughs> right now everybody getting mad because they gotta stand in two hour lines at the airport people getting mad they forgot about 9-11 shoot I tell you something before 9-11 every time I saw somebody went tall on their head in the back of my mind I never come out in silver I was like take his back take his back don't bomb take we put it, but we all <laughs> But always take something bad happening before we realize we gotta change things, right? And even after 9-11, even after all that trauma, right? People still get mad. I don't like this! Gotta stand in two hour lines. Checking my bag, taking away my privacy, checking my bag. People get mad. I don't like this. This is bad. We live in America. Checking my bag. See, that's when local president would just come out and go, Oh, yeah, I hear everybody getting mad, huh? Let's go on CNN, Fox, press conference. All right, all right, all right. From what I understand, people getting mad. Because you gotta stand in long lines at the airport. You guys stupid or something? Oh, you guys forgot? Okay, see, you guys like, voila, talk, 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 talk. From now on, everybody in America ride the plane naked. <laughs> oh, big dreams, huh? That way we re we we really fly in the friendly skies. <laughs> but we all know not gonna work, right, Coach? We all know we all know ride the plane naked. You know we're gonna get gay terrorists. <laughs> you know we're gonna get Mahu terrorists. Where else are you gonna hide the knife? You <laughs> know. And they're gonna get racism all over again. Cause you know they're gonna stop all the popolo guys. 
You know they're gonna stop all the black guys if you ride the plane naked. Like, oh, oh Mr. Johnson. You cannot ride on a plane naked. You might poke somebody in the eye. Weapon of mass destruction in you. <laughs> because we fair weather friends, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're not appreciative of what we have. We live in America, man, where dreams come true. Today is my big dream. I remember this sitting in the house and going, one day, one day, somewhere. <laughs> Has anybody ever seen a gay Indian? Because <laughs> me, I love watching the kind of John Wayne and stuff, you know, westerns. I've never seen a gay Indian. <laughs> but must have been hard, huh? Because every culture get must be harder for a gay Indian. Because no more closet there for come out. They're living on TP, you know. Can you imagine tribal council? Hello? What was that? My name? I'm Pocahaini. This is Gerardo Hall. You guys are a good audience, man. Yes, come on. This is beautiful, man. <laughs> no, what's sad is supposedly Hawaii get the like the lowest in SAT scores. <laughs> lowest on the total. Oh, that's bad. I don't like believe that because I think we get some smart kids. <laughs> Yes, we get some geniuses. Once in a while, I do question. Because <laughs> I'm a comic, that's what I'm supposed to do. I gotta question everything. Because the other day I was driving home, I'm driving home to Ever Beach, and local people love putting stuff, you know, on polls, announcing things, you know. So on sign it said, Billy's surprise birthday party. I'm thinking two things, either Billy cannot read, or Billy's a learn. Daddy, what does he say, Daddy? What does he say, Daddy? Patele sales, boy, patele sales. No, we can talk about everybody, even, even my, patele sales. I crack up with that guy because my auntie and my uncles was handicapped. And we all know we laugh at him. We shoot him, but we all. <laughs> they don't know. They happy people. They don't want problems. We don't want to get the problems out there. No, hey, yeah. Shoot. My Auntie Betty Jane and my Uncle Walter. My Uncle Walter had hydrocephalus, waterhead. My Uncle had waterhead. My Uncle Walter had waterhead. My father used to, because they like water. Go outside, cut the grass. Daddy, he handicapped. That's right. You know, treat him differently. He can handicap himself away around this yard. But you guys scared because we all buy into the, the, the superstition. Thought these the handicaps. 
or your kids gonna come out handicapped. Because I know you guys get irritated. I know you guys get irritated when you see that guy riding the bike on King Street. You guys know which one I'm talking about, the one block traffic. It's okay. But we worry. Oh, judgmental. We better not say nothing. Shh. Shh. Don't say nothing. Sad, man. Can I say, can I say God in school anymore? They're trying to stop the Pledge of Allegiance. That sucks. We live in America and you cannot say God. Stupid, huh? Never, you know, doing a Pledge of Allegiance never taught me about God. Taught, 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 taught me how to be unified. You know, we all stand up together like we was in a Kamehameha school choir. <laughs> I never learned about God. I learned about being unified. Shoot. But they teach the kids a lot of stuff, right? Chemicals and gases. <laughs> Lesson up, students. Chemicals and gases. I'm going to tell you how Earth was created. Chemicals and gases was in the air. Chemicals and gases was in the. Chemicals and gases was in space, and all of a sudden, the chemicals and gases and planet Earth came out from the Big Bang when chemicals and gases all came together. And all kids. <laughs> Shoot, man. You know how much guys I see use chemicals. Sometime all day, all night, just going all day. And not one time I'm gonna see one planet pop out of a pipe. From chemicals and gases in the air. Nothing came out, nothing. Tell us we came from monkeys. That's insulting. I'm 36 years old. You know how much times I went to the Honolulu Zoo and saw the same white and black monkeys spitting on a bamboo tree? Not one time did any of them turn into a Filipino kid. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, tell the truth, local people, man. Don't hide from nothing. Shoot, man. I just turned 36. <clears throat> it's a good age. Yeah, I get, I get kids. Anybody get kids? What, you guys hate your kids or something? <laughs> I know the kids can be crazy nowadays, but I have two boys. Love my two boys. One is uh, one I had when I was in high school. He's 18 years old. And the other one is uh, 12. Amazing, my kids. Anybody get gay kids? <laughs> Maurice. Hi! Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity here, ready for action! He came moving with me uh, after my first marriage fell apart. He moved to me and uh, came out. Dad came out of the closet. conversation with my son 
Because everything is a dance move. What? Yes? Okay. I'm afraid to have a normal conversation. I'm afraid that if I did that one, whole dance routine will come out. How was school today? School was great, Dad. You see the scene? trip on on that kind of stuff but that's my son ladies and gentlemen I think local men we have a hard time with that kind of stuff that's my boy I love my son I just don't understand because what you guys have to understand is I came from six I had five bro six brothers in my family you know very dysfunctional family you saw them Giving away dough prizes. <laughs> bag rice. He goes like, oh, bag rice, bag rice. <laughs> and we all grew up in Canford housing. You know, the only Filipino in, the, the, in, in that little complex. So, shoot, any signs of... <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Cracks. Lickens! Any hint of that? Lickens. Beatings. Shoot, one time my small brother Michael, who's here, was in front of the TV. My dad came home from work. Hey, hey boy, hey, what, 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 what Paul Ranger are you? I'm the Pink Ranger, daddy. You tackle your brother. There's no pink ranger in this house. You can be blue, red, yellow, green. No more pink in this house. You tackle the pink out of that boy. You understand, boy? I love my son, but I saw the signs. We all see them, right? We all see the signs when they're growing up. Boy, let's play ball. Play ball. To the ball, can I catch the ball? <laughs> catch the ball! <laughs> to the ball back to me, okay? <laughs> I stay right there, not over there, to the ball to me! Dad, let's play hot scarf. Shut up, let's play hot scarf. It's not like we all go to bed, pray, please God, let my son be a ballerina tonight, please. <laughs> but that's my boy. I gotta learn how to deal with it. We all gotta learn how to deal with it, man. <laughs> Trip, right? sit at the dinner table, because I believe you gotta sit with your family, have family discussions. But I'm doing the kind, you do the kind of Pilates, warming up, <laughs> stretching, oh, look at this. Gay guys, they like, they like talk, oh, they like talk, talk. Had the concrete strike. We are looking at the news, you go. What is happening over here? What is happening over here? How come all these people on strike? It's a concrete strike. Why don't they just get concrete someplace else? You know my worst fear, honestly, for my son, is that next year or this year, me and my dad gonna be watching American Idol. <laughs> and all of a sudden, brother gonna be like, Hi, I'm Audrey Tupper from Honolulu, Hawaii. 
My dad is Augie from Ireland. And I'm the next American Idol. Shut up, Hana. Fiji, Hana. <laughs> Amazing. Only in Hawaii, right? You guys on Hana Ho and Comic. Come back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's so much people I gotta thank, man. You guys, you know who I gotta, I gotta thank? My wife, you guys. Yeah. Thank my kids and thank McDonald's of Hawaii, you guys. Give them my hand. Victor Lim and I gave him an email. I said, hey, this is my dream. And I, you know, I'm a simple guy that believes in taking big steps and shoot. And the next day I got the email, we'll help you out. So big mahalos to McDonald's of Hawaii. Uh, Diane from Pamalu. Bed lining, you guys, give them a, yes. And the Unity House, Aaron Rutledge, Tony Rutledge, and the guys at the Uni, the Unity House. Yeah. Dirk Fukushima, Carol Kai, Impact Entertainment, you guys. Thank you guys for letting me live my big dream. Yeah. Because I know, I know how it is, honestly. I know what it is, man, to like grow up poor and have nothing. You know, you come home and just not then, only spam. <laughs> not even get the jelly, just saw the jelly, that's it. <laughs> oh no, wipe them on the bread or something. I wouldn't eat these, daddy. <laughs> Work or something. Well, I, don't know. <laughs> I remember, man, and it's, I'm always grateful. I wake up every morning and go, this is what it's all about. Because I remember when it was hard, Christmas time. When he could afford one walkie-talkie. <laughs> Had to share. <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> What's up, Bog? What's up? <laughs> Where there, boo? You gonna see me? <laughs> I figure, you know, when Hana Ho, I'm gonna bring back all the old stuff for you guys. Come on, eh? Honestly, this is the first time I think any comic, including a mail-in comic, ever sold out the Hawaii theater, man, and it just goes to show you. The local people, man, yeah, local people taking each other. Shoot, man, a rough Christmas time. I remember Christmas is. My nieces, they all wanted my cousins, my girl cousins, they all wanted like um, Barbie dolls. <laughs> Couldn't afford Barbie dolls. My mom gave them the Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> Aunt Jemima. <laughs> she rinsed the bottle out. <laughs> Put the hat back on. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Auntie, what is this, Auntie? That's Kitchen Bobby, baby, Kitchen Bobby. <laughs> Be grateful for what you have, that's Kitchen Bobby. <laughs> Couldn't afford books growing up, so my mom and dad used to read us the bills. <laughs> Couldn't relate 
lie to any of the kids at camp. All the kids talking about the boogeyman. Me and my brother talking about the electric man. <laughs> Cry. <laughs> you guys should have seen. You guys should have seen. They came to the all the lights in our house. Oh, so scary. Oh, scary. <laughs> Jesus Christ is so scared. <laughs> and yes, we did get lickings. We did get the beatings. And people get mad sometimes when you talk about lickings. I think they should pass the law where you can lick your kids. <laughs> Talking about discipline, maybe pass some laws to lick other people's kids. <laughs> pass some laws to lick parents who don't lick their kids. <laughs> Come on, parents! You're the parent. Santa go came out, the baby. Honey, honey, no, no, stop, stop, honey. Ah, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Shh. My dad, he don't care. My cousins, they like try to do that. My cousins. <laughs> Everybody looking. Oh my God, did you see what he just did? What the hell are you looking at? You have a problem with me or something? That's right, mind your own business. You gonna pay for this kid when he's in DH? That's what I meant. Oh, get the hell out of my face. This is what it is. We're all like blame, all again, ADD, ADD, ADD. How the hell everybody's kids get ADD? You know, I had ADD, you know what I did? Run the ADD off my ass! I didn't I'm gonna sleep there, I'm gonna sleep. No, but what we do, we let the kids play video games. Let them watch TV because you're irritated. Cause so you put them in, see when I was growing up, never have Xbox, Game Boy, PlayStation, GameCube, all that, but, right? They in front of the TV. <laughs> Blowing in the thing. <laughs> what the hell? They tweaking, you look at them, they tweaking. They gonna end up going. <laughs> When life was simple, we had Atari. Atari suck. Pong, ping, ping, ping. Shoot, you can put them on one side of the screen, the thing play by itself. You can go make two, come back, ping, ping. Come back, thing still play. Discipline your kids, man. Let them enjoy life. But we're scared. You know why we're scared? Because we believe in all the hype, all the bad things. Mental illness in Hawaii. Drugs. Oh, don't let the kids go out. Nobody's going to get involved with the drugs. Let them, don't, get it, let them, don't let them get it. Don't. Keep them in the house. Keep them in the house. And we know it's a big issue in Hawaii, right? Mental illness and drugs. Mental illness. Right? You guys walking on. But I get caught. I look change. I can have. Can I have change? Change, change, change. I can have change. Can I have change, buddy? Can I have change? Watch, you guys going out tonight? Going to get plenty, man. Can I have change, man? Can I have change? Hey, hey, hey! Change comes from within. These guys. 
killing cops, blaming the ice addiction, right? Ice psychosis, whatever. Getting away with murder because they suffer from mental illness, talking to themselves. Oh, I get people talking to me, plenty of people talking to me. Talking. Getting away with murder, going to what? They're going to, they're pleading insanity, going to hospitals because they people talking to me, people talking to me. Getting away with murder. Try, try, try driving a zipper lane Monday morning. And tell a cop you get mental illness. <laughs> tell him you get people talking to you in a car. <laughs> Guarantee you're gonna get on ticket. <laughs> <laughs> try, try it by yourself. <laughs> brother, brother, you know you need three guys in your car, eh? Shut up! Shut up, I'm talking to the cops, I'm talking to the cops! You guys bother me too much, I'm trying to focus on the road, you guys talking to me, talking to me, shut up! Officer, the problem is they are talking to me, I'm trying to focus, get to work harder, my kids, they're not listening in school, they're always in the ACT zone, they're talking to me, talking to me, shut up! The cop went, oh, 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 get the hell out of here, get the hell out of here! Drugs, man, ice. Ice is killing Hawaii, you guys. The only people who are gonna solve ice, the ice problem is us. Not the therapists, not the doctors, but you guys. Put them on the side. What's wrong with you, stupid? You look like a skeleton, stop it. I know how it is, man. We all come from dysfunctional families, man. My brother was involved in that kind of stuff. He's not here today. You're not here today. And you know, we know local people who are like, hiding things under the rock. Sweep it, sweep it, sweep it under the rock. <laughs> but I'm walking around. <laughs> you know who's that? Oh, I don't know nothing. I don't know him. I don't know him. Don't let him see me. I don't like Shoot, it's bad, man. You know how bad it is? Huh? I had, I had handicapped drug dealers in my neighborhood. <laughs> Can you believe that? Deaf drug dealers in my neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. Selling drugs. How the hell are you gonna do that? You deaf? How are you gonna get people's attention late at night? How are you gonna get, the, they're gonna get, you know, they're gonna hear nothing, people yelling. Ah! <laughs> 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 All the addicts outside screaming. Ah! Trying to get their attention. No, I can't, but they're making big noise. My dad, I appreciate my dad. He don't scared. He stand up. Hey, 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 cut it out. My kid's trying to sleep over here. I gotta tell my dad, dad, they can't hear you, they're deaf. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I'm going over there and talk to them right now. <laughs> my dad don't know how to do sign language. But he try, walk up right up to the window. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me when I talk to you, look at me. You guys talking too much, talking too much. My grandchildren trying to sleep. You guys talking too much, talking too much. I gonna call 911. You guys going jail. <laughs> but you know what? When you're involved in the stuff, hard for get out. These guys don't stop. They don't stop. You see them next day, they get their earpiece in their ear, trying to hook people up. Psh. <laughs> You said smoke meat. <laughs> Rice. Don't <laughs> be. That's why we need more local people rising up, believing. You know what? All you need is a GED for be governor of Hawaii. We need people with passion. 
You know what? We got an election coming up and only half of Hawaii is registered to vote. Shoot, that's where all the comedians stay in office. <laughs> we need us local people for Rise Up. Come on, man, believe in something. We can't change the way we think, honestly. It's like I'm gonna get mad, you know? Especially people who play victim. You know, we all like doing that, playing. Don't like take responsibility. Oh, no, no, no. You see local guys in court, right, or on the news. <laughs> Just imagine, man, we have bold judges, bold local judges. Somebody tell them, you know, they, uh, they get mental illness. Oh, I get mental illness. Okay, I hear voices in my head. Local guy would be like, holy smokes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the court, did you hear what he just said? He said he get five million people in his head. So which one of you guys let go to jail? victim <laughs> you guys don't understand it was hard for me I grew up housing but I was small nobody owned me <laughs> nobody told me they loved me <laughs> that's a come on it's snap See, a local guy can understand that if he was the judge, right, Judge Arm? <laughs> local judge would be like, because <gasps> when local men see other local men cry, oh, <laughs> 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 understand. <laughs> they can lick it too, mama, mama. It's okay, where are you going? Plenty of guys gonna love you. <laughs> Plenty of guys gonna show you affection. <laughs> we scared to tell the truth. That's what it is, man. We scared to tell the truth. We scared believing in ourselves, man. Tonight, I've lived my dream, ladies and gentlemen. You guys made that all happen. And I'll end, like I've learned many a times in you know, a comedy show, man, in this time of war and, you know, bad situations in everyday life, hard local, hardworking local people, driving it to work, trying to make ends meet. Sometimes all we need is a little laughter. Amen. Right? That's all. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> Laugh, man, because they tell you there's a, there's a, there's a sign, scientific thing, man. If you laugh, it heals the soul. Laugh. The average kid laughs 15 times a day. The average adult, three times. <laughs> laugh. Right? Right, you laugh, you live longer. So laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be local, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys go home, here's Maki. You guys better not blame me because I think I did my job tonight. Thank you, guys.